Let me tell you why your church needs this light. Hey guys, let me introduce you to a new light that we've been using at our church. It is a Boulder LED Zoom Wash Par that is a variable white fixture. So this light is what you can use for your front lighting. This fixture is really uh, very similar to like a Chave R2X, and it has a variable beam degree of six to 60 degrees, I believe. Um, it can run a warm white, cool white, or a mixture of both. And so this light is just so flexible and useful when preparing key lighting looks that are in different areas of the stage. So let me dive into some of the specs and show you what you get in the box and see what it looks like in our room. So this LED light is made up of 19 different 15 watt two-in-one LEDs, meaning every LED has a warm white and a cool white. And so it's not separating different ones around this circle. It has warm white and cool white on each LED. And it is just so bright. I mean, we run uh, Source 4 Junior 575s, and I would say it's oh, about three or four stops brighter than a Source 4 575. And then we're having to gel those 575s to get them to a cooler temperature because we want to get to around 4,500 degrees. And that's one of the great things about a variable white fixture like this is that this is gonna run from about, on the warm side, 2,800 Kelvin, all the way up to about, in my tests, around 6,500 Kelvin. And with both of those warm white and cool whites on together, I'm getting around 4,500 Kelvin with a little bit of a purple hue and so just as you're white balancing things, that's what you're gonna kind of look for. It may be a little challenging to get these to match with my other conventional lights, but I can get pretty close and we're already doing that with some other lights from Chave, the slim pars uh, that are variable whites. And so this light combined with those could get you a really nice modern front wash. You know, you have some, some slim pars that are on set spots with maybe barn doors if you're not too far away from the stage, it's not gonna replace an ellipsoidal. Uh, but then these, man, these can cover so much ground. Uh, they can be a giant wash light, but then when you bring them all the way down to that six degree type beam, it can be a spotlight that's really nice. It doesn't have to be shuttered off or anything because it's got a nice soft edge to the light. Uh, it's not a really hard edge like you might get on some ellipsoidal spots. So, uh, it's a very flexible light. We are running in these in 15 channel DMX mode, which is the simplest mode you can go. And that still gets you complete control over everything. Um, we, it does have the ability to kind of like segment these around with different areas doing different effects. So if you wanted to put these behind the band and have a warm white fixture to go to that could do different patterns and stuff and be variable zoom, this would fit the bill. Now, no light is perfect, and this one is not without its quirks. So the thing that I will say is that this light, like any intelligent light, does have a built-in fan. Now, if you need a completely silent room and to be using the light, then this is not the light for you. But the great thing that they have included is that it's temperature controlled. So after you stop using this light, it does shut off the fan after about a minute or so. And that is really handy. Say you use this for worship, but then when it comes preaching time, you don't need it anymore. Uh, after about a minute in the dimmer being off, the fan will shut off too and it'll be completely silent again. And another reason I like that is because I feel much more comfortable leaving this light powered on and not having to have it on a remote turn off uh, throughout the week because it's not actually doing anything and the fan is not constantly running like the other lights. Uh, the other main downside is that, you know, just support. Um, Boulder is a company that uh, is not here in the States local that you can't just dial them up and, and get support or get parts for this light. So that's a consideration as well. 
Maybe you could get the Amazon warranty if that comforts you, but my thought is the cost of these lights, um, you're getting so much more than what, like the value is so high. And you know, I can replace this light two or three times. Um, stock may be an issue as well. So uh, if you need uh, you know, four or eight to match, maybe you just go ahead and get them all at once. Uh, so that way you know you can, you can grab what you need. Connection wise on this light, you're gonna get locking power con for in and out. It comes with that first power cable. It does not come with a second out cable. It comes with a three pin DMX cable and that's all you have on this light is three pin in and out. So if you're a five pin house lighting system, uh, you might wanna consider that. And then it's just an on off switch. Uh, on the bottom here, you're going to have some holes for putting your brackets on if you wanna hang this like we have. Uh, they're just locking brackets, really easy. A lot of intelligent lights use these kinds of things. And then you can put your, your clamps onto those brackets. I don't know what those are called. But uh, connections on this light are very, very solid. So if you're looking for some flexible, high value uh, key light that's variable white and color temperature, you can really dial in what you want. Um, but that is a, a cost effective way to go about that. Give these a try. I really think that you will be impressed with them. I sure am. The light output is so strong, the flexibility of the, the different zoom angles and the color temperature being able to be chosen is just, it's just really nice. I'm going to link in the description the uh, fixture profile for Jan's Vista. It'll be version two though. So it's not hard to build out the profile if you just follow the DMX chart, it's really not too bad. It took me maybe 30 minutes to do it. So uh, I hope that this video has helped you guys out. I know this has been something I've been wanting forever and I'm really excited to continue to use these in our space and see how they work and uh, maybe even in the future be able to upgrade more of our conventional fixtures to LED so we don't have to change bulbs so much. <laughs> all right guys, remember we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.